तो मंजिलों का घर तो बन गया कमरे भी बढ़ गए और इस एक घर में न जाने कब हम सब ने अपने अपने कमरों में खुद के घर बना लिए हेलो हाय आई एम प्रतीक्षा मिश्रा एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू डू आई लाइक इट अ क्विन प्रोडक्शन वेयर वी रिव्यू एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग अंडर द सन एंड इन दिस एपिसोड आई विल टेल यू इफ आई लाइक्ड गुलमोहर लेट अस एज इज यूजुअल स्टार्ट विद सम कॉन्टेक्स्ट गुलमोहर फॉलोज द फोर डेज दैट द बत्रा फैमिली इज एसेंशियली स्पेंडिंग इन देयर फैमिली होम बिफोर द मेट्रियाक uh sells the house away i think the house has already been sold and now it's a very you know akri din in the ghar kind of thing that is going on so the film opens with a party right director rahul chitela has taken the decision to open the film with a party and essentially then introduces to all the characters aur in introduction mein hame pata chalta hai ki this family unit is actually been broken into different different units main character hamare jo hain beyond sharmila tagor is Manoj Bajpay is Arun Batra. Arun Batra is rapidly realizing that his mother's decision to sell the house means that he now has to kind of deal with the fact that his family is falling apart. Because his daughter, Aditya, played by Suraj Sharma, and his daughter-in-law Divya, played by Kaveri Seth, have decided that they want to build a life of their own in a separate house, which makes complete sense. I think it is fair enough, fair, valid for them to do that. And on the other hand, obviously, his mother Kusum Kusum Batra, played by Sharmila Tagore, has decided to move somewhere else, move to Pondicherry. This film essentially is about the story, not the story, or like a fight for agency. सबको अपनी जिंदगी में एजेंसी चाहिए and how the different generations are dealing with this. Kusum Batra's need for agency, for example, is seen as selfish. Though you will find out uh, within the course of the film that that's not true. And even if it was, even if it was selfish, how does it make a difference? She has essentially lived her life for her family for decades, and now she's finally being selfish. और उसमें भी लोगों को तकलीफ है. so that kind of um the kind of thread of how women's agency is viewed in indian families is amazing to watch cuz usi side pe we also see simran playing arun batra's wife indu and indu is this strong willed woman honestly my favorite character of the film and so brilliantly played by simran by the way what a great performance and indu essentially is a driving force for arun she sees ki arun kuch nahi bolta at some point she calls him shavan kumar because he'll never say anything to his mother and at the same time i love how the film doesn't fall into the same saas bahu trope of like oh you know am i allowed to say bitching about each other <laughs> but kind of like jhagda karte rehte hain kit kit karte rehte hain you know don't like each other hate each other this film is so mature in the way cuz they're like these two women these two women kusum and indu they love each other there is clearly love there but also like with any relationship this tension there's things they don't like about each other and that's so amazingly portrayed the thing about gulmohar in general as a film is that it does not want to show you an indian family the way we have seen for so long tv ho jaye ya film ho jaye hamesha indian family ka yahi rehta hai ki everyone's perfect hum saath saath hain we are happy maybe gulmohar is like the anti hum saath saath hain the anti hero to hum saath saath hain nothing is perfect nothing is perfect everything is falling apart fully like the grief and class conflict both somehow find a space in this film but before i tell you more about that i want to tell you that you can check out our other episodes from this series as well as our other podcasts from the quint on our website or wherever you get your podcasts from beyond a family i feel like in indian cinema whenever there is an upper caste rich privileged family that's all we see we see their struggles we see their problems ki ha aisa aisa hai they're dealing with this this which is fair which is fair through a family gulmohar also kind of explores a lot about human connection explores a lot about human life explores a lot about just just things that humans go through like you can't always talk to everyone in your family about everything and that's so well done but at the same time they also show you that this family is one of privilege and there are things that they are kind of away from there are things that they don't have to deal with kyunki abhi unhone decide kiya ki wo ek ghar bech denge and they will move away what i think is happening is ki unhone ye ghar kisi builder ko becha hai or to like a huge company that wants to develop or redevelop that area uh, not important the point is that they have sold it 
but the film also introduces us to the people who are employed in gulmohar the staff who essentially keeps the house alive the cogs of the machine of gulmohar if you will and we see that the family's decision to move out is basically everyone's like ha theek hai ek aur ghar hai hum wahan shift ho jayenge ye log apne ghar mein shift ho jayenge ye aisa ho jayega waisa ho jayega but the staff is essentially worried about how they are also getting displaced they are also kind of moving away with these people and at the same time we see class conflict because we see uh, how their lives are so different or jo inke life ke problems hain batra ke life ke problems hain are somehow also the staff's problems because they have to deal with it they have to uh, fix things when they go wrong and the batras essentially don't realize that like a lot of us don't we don't really uh, i feel like we'll understand this better if we look at these films like Well, okay, so let's see the show Killing Eve, right? There's this part where one of the characters says that, "Oh, I chose to uh, complete this mission as someone from the service industry because people don't notice you then, right?" And that's a very interesting thing to look at because there is a huge population that has completely been invisibilized in our lives, but they essentially keep these machines running, right? That lens on the staff at Gulmohar is so brilliantly portrayed by the cast and by the filmmaker. Gulmohar as a film is so immensely watchable because Sharmila Tagore, yar, it has been so long. It has been so long. I feel like Sharmila Tagore, the last I saw her is essentially in her old films, and she is so amazing to look at. And in this film, in Gulmohar, I think call it nostalgia, call it the fact that she's a good actor, call it the fact that the film in itself is emotionally so good. Um, give credit maybe to Siddharth Khosla's music. but when she said you're sad man i mean at the end of the day having discussed all of this do i like gulmohar so so much and i am someone who does not like slow stories i am like my patience my name is literally pratiksha and it is a lie because i have not a shred of patience in my life so any thing slow i give up on but gulmohar you just keep watching you just keep watching gulmohar you can't give up even when there are some subplots that don't make se- not not make sense but you could have been like oh it seems a little tokenistic or it seems like it's just there for its sake even then you keep watching gulmohar cuz the cuz the emotion is always there the emotion always exists it's so beautifully shot be it the life of the privileged batras or everyone else that exists in their ecosystem everything the camera is practically invisible matlab you will forget ki someone is behind a camera shooting all of this and that i think is a huge win for any cinematographer so Please watch Gul Mohar. Tell me what you think. If you have any family trauma, it might get triggered by this. I'll be honest with you, because I cried about some things that I might have to address with my therapist, uh, and that might happen to you too. So fair warning. But I still think you should definitely, definitely watch the film. That was all for this episode. Thank you so much for listening. Do I like it? Is a Quint production, executive produced by Ritu Kapoor and Shelly Walia. hosted by me pratiksha mishra produced and edited by prateek lidu with music from disney plus hotstar and bmg production see you next time and do tell me how you like the film i'm asking you like i've made it but but tell me reach out i'd love to know bye you were listening to the quins podcast